Okay, hello! This video is a quick tutorial on how to rectify some of the audio problems that people might have. This assumes that you have already got TeamSpeak installed and that you have managed to log into the server. One of the first problems that people has is when people can't hear you. You're talking away and nothing is happening but other people can't hear you on TeamSpeak. So the first thing that you do is you click on tools and then click on options. Okay now this opens up another window on the left hand side you click on capture. Okay now on the capture screen you've got a number of different options here. Um, the main one which causes most of the problems is capture device. Now if I click on it, as you can see I've got two settings, default and line in at rear. Now the line in at rear is where my microphone is actually plugged in. Now quite often people have more than one microphone and when my webcam is plugged in I will have um, the webcam showing in this list as well. So TeamSpeak can sometimes try to record from the wrong device, from the wrong microphone. So instead of leaving it on default you set it to the actual device that you want to use. Okay, in my case it's the line in in the rear panel. So I select that, you then click on apply and if that's the only problem you've got you then click on OK. Right now the next problem that people have quite often is that other people can hear you but you can't hear them. So you're on the team speak, they can hear what you're saying but you can't hear a thing that they're saying. Now that is a very similar problem and what you do is you click on playback. Okay, playback device. Again you have got default and then you have got your different options. Now for instance if you are using a wireless headset that could be one option. Your speakers connected to the computer would be another option. So make sure that you have got the correct option in this box here and not just default okay when you change it you click on apply and you click on OK and hopefully you would then be able to hear other people on TeamSpeak. Now another problem that people often have is that when they are talking they tell you that they are getting an echo from you. So what you do is you go on to capture and down the bottom on the right hand side here you can see it says echo cancellation and echo reduction. So you can try ticking both of those and then click on apply and click on OK. And hopefully that should get rid of any echo that was coming from you that the other people in TeamSpeak could hear. Now the next problem that people often have there's a number of different ways that TeamSpeak can detect that you are talking. Now the first one, which is probably the least popular option at all, is to have continuous transmission. When you click on that option, what that means is that your microphone is on all the time. Now that is not popular with other people. So I don't recommend that you use continuous transmission. The next option is push to talk and I think Q is the default key, it says it's default but anyway you can use push to talk so that your mic only works when you push the Q key or you can set it to a different key if you want to. The next option, voice activity detection. Now you want to have that set onto volume gate. All right, you've got automatic volume gate and a hybrid. You want it on volume gate. Now, what happens is when you press on the begin test button, you will see the volume level go up and down down here. Hopefully, you'll only see it go up a little way down here. Now, here is a slider that you can move up and down. 
Now, basically, when the volume is below the slider, your microphone will be off, and when your volume is above the slider, your microphone will be on. For instance, if I put move my slider right up here, okay, and I click on begin test. If I stop talking, you'll see that on my machine there's no background noise at all, so I'll just stop talking for a second. There you go, you see, there was absolutely nothing there. Now if I rub my hands together, um, that will make a bit of noise, and you'll see the level that that gets to, and that is the background noise that you may have. So, here we go. Okay, so we saw that going up to around the minus 20 decibel mark just here. Now when I'm talking, you can see that my voice is normally going around the zero decibel mark. So what I actually want to do is I want to move the slider down to the zero decibel, decibel mark. mark. And, and now, now you, you can, can hear, hear an, an echo, echo because, because you're, you're hearing, hearing back what, what team speak, speak would actually be sending to other people. people. But what, what you don't, don't want to do is to have the background noise going above this slider. But you want your voice to go above this slider. Hang on, let me just stop the echo. Alright, so background noise is down here. My voice was going to up here. So we want the slider there so that everything that I say is recorded. But none of the background noise is because that is below the level of the slider. So hopefully that has explained that to you. Um, those are the usual problems that people have with TeamSpeak. Hopefully I've covered it. So uh, good luck with TeamSpeak. Take care. Bye.